everyone. We're here at CES with the founder of the Living Heart Project, Dr. Steve Levine. He is leading our work with the virtual twin of the human body and has agreed to answer a few of our burning questions. So it's great to have you, Steve. Thank you, Willie. Really. My pleasure to be here. Let's start with the basics. What is a virtual twin? That's a great question. The virtual twin is really a 3D reconstruction of a part of your body, your okay. heart or your brain that's taken from medical information, an MRI or a CT scan, and, but we bring and we add to it everything we know about how your body works using our powerful simulation platform to be able to create a virtual copy of your body, uh, your beating heart, your functioning brain, on the computer so that it can actually be used to predict uh, how your body will behave in the future. Okay, but how does that differ from the virtual twins or digital twins that we might have heard about? A lot of people ask me, well, it looks like everything else that I've seen. Yeah. We've all seen virtual reality copies of ourselves, yeah. avatars that might be useful in an adventure game or at a party, a uh, virtual party where we want to identify each other, but not very helpful if you have something like a ch pain in your chest True. where you need to understand what's happening. Well, your virtual twin can actually tell you what's happening inside because it can show you what's happening. It can show you and your doctor, is it serious? Does it need an intervention? And not only tell you what's happening now, but can suggest the best treatment in the future. That sounds really amazing, but is that technology actually being used? Well, we've drawn on 40 years of experience where we've built virtual twins in uh, all other industries, automotive industries, yeah. virtual, cars and planes, you would never build a car today without first virtually uh, driving it, crashing it, making sure it's absolutely safe and effective. Well, we take that same technology and we're bringing it into the doctor's office. So it's already being used by uh, companies who are creating new treatments, whether it be new devices for your body, new, uh, new drugs that are uh, bringing advanced capabilities that are safer and more effective. Uh, they're more personalized. We think by using the virtual twin, uh, we can usher in the real personalized medicine because instead of trial and error on your body, we can do trial and error on your virtual twin, finding out exactly the right treatment before we, your doctor takes it on you. That's impressive. So we talked about the virtual twin of the heart. Are there other organs? Is this just going to be about hearts? What? No, we started with the heart for a number of reasons. Okay. Uh, one reason actually was uh, my daughter uh, was actually born with a very complex heart defect. Oh. And her doctors were trying out treatments on her because it was so rare, they had no experience. So they were testing, basically guessing on her what would work. And I wondered, well, why can we give all this great technology to engineers and other professionals, why can't we give it to doctors? Uh, so can we do virtual tests on her virtual twin, then they would know what to do before they try it. Well, they're actually doing that now. Wow, that's incredible. So uh, we have doctors, for example, we have a collaboration with doctors in Boston Children's Hospital where they're performing surgeries wow. on virtual children before they tested on hundreds of a virtual test to make sure yeah. they have exactly the right treatment before they do it on the real child. So we've achieved that vision and now we're replicating it to all other parts of the body. We've been so successful with the heart, we're doing it with the brain, and now with the lung, kidneys, etc. And we think step by step we can replicate all of medical domain. Okay, so you have all these virtual twin organs. What's next? Are they gonna to work together? Well, I think that's the real exciting part and why I think we're here at CES. We think the virtual twin is the game changer for digital health that we've all been looking for. I look around and I see all these amazing apps that are giving us a piece of the puzzle. Well, where does that all go? It comes together in your virtual twin. It tells you about how this data connects to that piece of data, what's happening inside my body, so you can, uh, you can actually manage your health and go from fixing it when it's broken to preventing it because you can actually see what's happening before it happens. In your own virtual twin. In your virtual twin. Well, I can't wait to meet mine. Uh, thank you so much for your time. It's and been my pleasure. Really inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone.